This week on Inside Boulder News, the city teams up with a local nonprofit to save food from going to waste, the US 36 Express Lanes project makes progress this month, and the whole family is invited to the Open Arts Fest on Pearl Street next weekend. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Ashley Prill. The City of Boulder is teaming up with Boulder Food Rescue to research how much food from local supermarkets and restaurants can be saved from going to the landfill. Boulder Food Rescue is a nonprofit that picks up food that would otherwise go to waste and takes it directly to organizations that serve homeless or low-income people in the community. We do our deliveries by taking it directly from the grocery store to the recipient organization and what that does is enables us to rescue um, more perishable foods in a timely manner, so something that might you know, go bad in three or four days is going to be used today. And so that enables us to rescue the healthier foods as well. Um, and we do all of our transportation by bicycle. So we'll pick up from a donor site, attach the trailer to the bike, get the food, bike it directly to a recipient. There's a lot of stores that are really close to um, recipients, so there might be food going away, some people that are hungry blocks away from each other. Most of the waste that we throw away is food waste. You also know that food waste, when it goes to the landfill, produces methane, which is a really potent greenhouse gas. And so through this research project and through supporting the efforts of Boulder Food Rescue, we can both advance our community's zero waste goals as well as our climate goals. Right now, more than 100 volunteers help Boulder Food Rescue to collect an average of 40,000 pounds of perishable food each month. To learn more about food waste or to volunteer with Boulder Food Rescue, log on to boulderfoodrescue.org. By 2017, the City of Boulder wants to direct at least 85% of waste to reuse, recycling, and composting facilities instead of the landfill. In order to reach that goal, the City is updating its Zero Waste Strategic Plan and wants your input on the best way to move forward. It is really a framework that we're going to use moving forward to help prioritize and decide, you know, what in future years are we going to focus on to reach those goals. And really it'll give us an opportunity of how do we look at what we do year to year and make sure we're getting to the goal in the best way possible? And so this framework will give us a way to do that. You know, zero waste is a huge value, embedded value in our community, and everyone is really passionate about it. And so we really wanted to get a sense for how quickly they wanted to do some of these things. To share your opinions on potential zero waste strategies, create a free account and take the two minute survey at inspireboulder.com. If you'd like to learn more about the planning process, City Council will be holding a study session on July 29th at Council Chambers. The US 36 Express Lanes project won't be complete until 2016, but commuters will see progress starting this month. The US 36 Express Lanes project project is reconstructing the roadway and bridges originally built in the 50s between Boulder and Denver to ultimately create a multimodal connection. One managed lane is being built in each direction. There will be the first priority use of those managed lanes is bus rapid transit and we'll expect that bus rapid transit service to start in early 2016. The second priority use of those lanes is for carpools or high occupancy vehicles. And then the final priority is for single occupant vehicles, which will be paying a toll. Uh, and if congestion occurs in that lane, the tolls will increase to allow that transit, the free flow travel uh, between Boulder and Denver. And also people might be noticing that there is a pathway being constructed along US 36 and that's another piece of that multimodal package is a, a regional bikeway that will be completed along the entire length of US 36 and will be connecting to each of the community's bicycle networks along the way. We've got a little bit farther to go in this project but um, we're really excited about some of the things we have going on this summer. We have the completion of the Sheridan Bridge which is going to be a big milestone for the project. We're already working on paving the pedestrian and the bike path along, along the project. Um, we've broken ground on demolition for McCaslin, which is going to be the new diverging diamond interchange, which is the third in, its, in the state of Colorado of that type of interchange. So that's really exciting as well. Um, by the end of July, we will have all of eastbound throughout the entire project on new pavement. A lot of lane configurations have been coming down the pipeline for this project in the last few months. So we'll have all of that onto new pavement by the end of this month. 
The best place to find out more information is online at coloradodot.info. Click on the Projects button and then US 36 Express Lanes to access Traveler Impacts updates and newsletters. You're invited to bring the whole family to Pearl Street next weekend for a free arts festival. Over 100 artists from across the country will line Pearl Street on July 19th and 20th for Open Arts Fest. We had over 300 submissions but narrowed it down to just over 100. So it's uh, the best of the best in the, their specialties. So from painters to jewelers to woodworkers, there's just a great variety of high quality art that will be represented. Clementine Studios will be here to help with children's arts activities and our presenting sponsor Daya will have um, face painting for kids as well. So this is really a family event, it's a great community event and it's a beautiful time and beautiful area to spend celebrating the arts. To learn more about the artists before you come to Open Arts Fest, log on to openartsfest.org. Free parking is also available downtown in the City of Boulder parking garages. To see a list of garage locations, visit boulderparking.com. Thank you for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.